Hello friends, welcome. Now, right now, anyone who has access to the admin panel can uh, create a new user, edit a user, delete, or the same for the role. You can create new role, edit or delete the role. And for the permissions, the same thing. And now I want to change this one. And if I open the VS Code inside the app models, we changed what user can access the filament admin panel. So the user who has the admin and writer role can access that. And that's okay. But for example, I want only the user who has the role admin to create, edit, and delete user, create, edit, and delete roles, and permission the same thing. The writer, I'm going to leave only for uh, a post. I'm going to create a post model in the next video and leave it only the access to the post. For that, if you go to the filament and let's go, for example, here, we are inside the admin panel and let's go to the resources and listing records. And we have the authorization here. For authorization, filament will observe any model policies that are registered in our application. So for example, the users may access the list page if the view any method of the model policy returns true. And let's do that. Let's go inside the laravel.com documentation and the create the generator policy. We can run the PHP artisan make policy. And for example, here we have post policy. And we can add also the model post. And let's copy that. And I'm going to open the terminal inside here and paste that in. Just I'm going to change the model and the name to be user. And the model is going to be user. So I'm going to. work with the users right now as you can see we have row 3 forbidden because we created the policy and the view any is not returning true which we have here so user may access the list page of if the view any method of the model policy returns true and right now we created that policy but this is not returning true and as i said I want only the user who has the role admin to have access to the users. So for that, I'm going to say in here, in the user policy view any method, we have inject the user and I want to return if the user, if the user has the role admin. Now, if the user has the role admin, it's going to return true, otherwise it's going to return false. And if I save this, we need to go inside the provider in the auth service provider to register this uh, policy. So let's come here and let's say user model. And yeah, add the user policy here. Just we need to import this user policy. And let's save that. Okay, so import the user model and user policy here. And with that, now if I come here and refresh, yeah, we have access only, as you can see right now, only to list the users. Because in the user policy, we have returned true only in this view any. Now for the edit and delete, because right now we don't have the edit button and delete also the create one let's go up here in the filament php inside the resources let's go to the creating record authorization and now on the create method we need to return true use may access the create page if the create method of the model policy return true so let's come here I'm going to copy this 
And here we have the create method. And let's paste that in. If I save and I refresh, as you can see, now we have this button. Very good. And let's the same for the update. I'm going to say only the user who has the role admin and for the delete. And we don't need, I don't need this one. And also either this one. So let's save this and come here and refresh. And now we have the button to create new user, edit and delete a user. So let's delete this, confirm and we delete it. Okay, friends, that's it, the demonstration. How we can use the roles to protect the user model in this case. And in the next video, I'm going to work with a post model, as I said. So see you in the next one. All the best and thank you very much.